What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to episode 10 of 100 and Out Season 2. If you're not already aware, this season we are using Fetpat Seedus and El Sharawi. Um, we ended the last episode with El Sharawi on 80 goals and Fetpat Seedus on 53 goals. Um, and we're about three episodes away now. Uh, I think I've built most of them. We've got 14 episodes in total. No, 13 episodes in total. So there's a, there's three more after this one. And we get some pretty good goals again in this one. Like I said before, I really enjoyed using these guys. Um, I've spent the last couple of days playing some tournaments, which is something I don't usually do. Like, you know, you guys... Um, for those that, like, that see my record regularly in live, screen, live streams and stuff, you know, my record on FIFA is pretty decent. Um... I had one of my friends with me for the last few days, Hamio, and he plays tournaments only, um, and he's got like 50 tournament wins already, which is uh, awesome because his record is also awesome, um, and he he kind of put it to me that I can't win tournaments because I play against, you know, people that play in online games don't necessarily play as much or as often as people that play tournaments and therefore aren't necessarily as good. So he challenged me to win a couple of tournaments. So I've actually played four or five tournaments over the last couple of days and won them. Uh, and I'm currently in the final of another tournament. Um, now, whilst playing these, I learned quite a few things about myself and about FIFA. Now, as a skiller, although some of you say I'm not a skiller, um, it's, it's a lot more difficult to do... Um, to do skill moves and score skill skull, skill goals in tournaments. Um, however, it's a lot more challenging and reaps better rewards doing tournaments. So, um, I, like I said, I've been playing a few and I've won quite a lot. I've only lost a couple of games whilst playing them. And I've come up against a very good opponent. So what I might do for the next 100 now, which I'm doing with uh, Neymar, as you guys well know, is use Neymar and only play tournaments and see how many tournaments I can win and see how long it takes me to score 100 goals with Neymar. Uh, when I come up against people that are really good. Now, the teams you see me, place, see me face in this current episode are actually because I'm in a tournament in this episode. I'm in the Silver Regionals tournament. Um, so the teams you see on the screen, like that first guy that, I, that um, we saw with the bronze players, uh, the Silver Regionals is maximum... Um, oh, maybe it wasn't the Silver Regionals. I can't remember which tournament it was, but basically he had a, he had a team like that um, because of the tournament I was playing in. But this, the next few games aren't tournaments. Um, no, no, sorry. The next few games are the Silver Regionals tournaments. The first tournament, I guess, I was playing regular games. Um, can't really. I don't really know why I'm talking about the tournaments and not. Uh, this game, this game again here. Uh, the guy's got poor chemistry, a poor team. Um, and it's pretty obvious why I, why I beat him, you know. So basically I've been trying to challenge myself a bit more in FIFA. Um, and I've been playing tournaments only, as I said. Now, my record is now, on my new account, is currently 142, 5 and 22. Um, and I've got four tournament wins. And I'm in the final of two different tournaments at the moment. I'm in the final of the Silver Regionals and of the, uh, the Advanced Gold Cup. So hopefully I'll win both of those and add a couple more tournaments to my record. But um, I, I played Modern Warfare 3 for a few days, uh, as everyone did. You know, I'm a big fan of Modern Warfare and Call of Duty games, but Modern Warfare 3 for me, I like. it's not that I'm not enjoying the game, I am enjoying the game. I actually start the Silver Regionals tournament here, by the way, here. And Bunny FC is a subscriber of mine, he's SAFC Bunny. Um, he posts quite regularly in my videos, so big shout out to him. Um, I know he's probably been waiting for a few days for this video to go up. Um, he wondered if it was going to be on the on this episode, on this uh, series, and it is. And it was a very very good game. Like love that shot there, where the way El Sharawi opens his body up. Um, but I had an epic epic game with uh, Mr. Bunny, and he is a very very good FIFA player. So uh, to come out with the uh, with the win was very very nice. It was a very tough game indeed. Um, but yeah, so I've been playing Call of Duty for some reason. Like I just could not wait to get back on FIFA. Like I really really enjoy playing FIFA. Um, I've got a lot of stuff coming up, and for you guys that don't know, I'm going to make a video on this this player, um, not to try and price fix or to price hike or to make coins or anything like that. Um, but Dan, um, wait, let me just. I'm going to have to have a look at him in my. I've actually got my PlayStation on right now, and I'm just going to have to have a look at the what the guy is called because I can't remember his fucking name. Um, uh, just going to go back. Basically, he's the inform Brazilian player. Uh, Tiago Neves, he's a central attacking midfielder and he plays for Flamengo. That was a fucking phenomenal goal from Marlos, by the way. 
who plays for some Flamengo. You can get him for around forty to 50,000 coins, maybe a bit less if you're lucky, maybe around 35,000 coins. Guys, let me tell you something. This guy has got the best stats for a midfielder I have ever seen in this game. Um, I'm going to make a video on him for his in-game stats that will be up in the next couple of days. Um, and I'm going to show you some goals. And he's got 97 long shots, I think, and 92 or 93 shot power. And he is just absolutely incredible. I showed the end of this game here as well. I conceded a fourth goal in the 90th minute to go 4-3 down um, v Sanchez. And obviously, as this is in the cup, I was very, very annoyed at the fact that I conceded in the 90th minute. So, as always, what I do when I concede silly goals like this is go ahead and try my best to get back on terms. And in the 90th minute, I was thinking if I could just get one more chance, one more chance to get myself into extra time, I will be very, very happy. Um, and I thought I'd blown it there. I thought the full-time whistle will go now. But um, fortunately for me, Diego Cavallari hunts it up long. And I just get a luck of the draw there, like the ball fell straight to my player, he missed the tackle and El Sharawi finished it off. And that made it 4-4. And uh, in good time I thought again, like I thought the full time whistle would have been coming pretty quick um, after the after the kickoff of this guy. Um, missed it all stars, but he tries to be clever there, loses the ball stupidly. I get myself one more chance with El Sharawi and tuck it away for 5-4. I'm going to talk more about this Brazilian player in the next episode, guys. Um, but as always, this is the end of the episode. I really appreciate the support from you guys. I love you all. I'm very close to 13,000 subscribers. So as always, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Cheers. It takes all kinds of qualities to win.